In this tutorial, you'll learn how to align and position objects with ease and accuracy using the guidelines, align and position, and live guides inspectors. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you'll find a written copy of this tutorial to follow along with. To get started, we'll go to File, New from Template, and open up a business card template as an example. The dotted blue lines you see running across the page are guidelines. In this case, their default blue color is difficult to see on our blue background, so we'll change the color. To do that, first find and select the guidelines in the Objects Inspector, then control click to set a new color in the color palette. Next, we'll check to make sure that we have Snap to Guidelines selected. As long as that's selected, any objects you create will automatically align themselves with nearby guidelines. Guidelines can also help you keep alignment consistent across multiple similar designs. These guidelines here are part of our master page in this template. So if we create a new page, they'll show up there as well. Now let's take a look at the guidelines inspector, which we can use to create and manipulate guidelines. To make new guidelines, first choose horizontal, vertical, or angled, and enter the XY coordinates where you want to place your guideline. Then click add. All existing guidelines and their coordinates are listed below. You can modify guidelines coordinates, color, or style by selecting them in the inspector. If you change color and style without an existing guideline selected, that will set new defaults for the next guidelines you create. To lock your guidelines in place and protect them from being deleted, just select them and click the lock icon. To delete a guideline, click the trash icon. You can also toggle view guidelines and snap to guidelines in the inspector. Another easy way to create guidelines is by going to View and selecting Rulers. Then you can just click and drag from one of the rulers to place a new guideline onto the page. To change a guideline's position, simply click on it and drag. To rotate it, click it a second time and use the rotate handles. So we'll create a couple guidelines here that line up with our pre-existing objects. And when we have our guidelines set, with Snap to Guidelines still enabled, we can easily use them to create a shape that matches objects in our design. Now let's take a look at the Align and Distribute Inspector, which offers multiple easy object placement options. To align multiple objects neatly, lasso to select them and experiment with the different align buttons, like Align Center Vertically or Align Top. By default, your reference point for object alignment will be set to Last Object Selected, but you can also choose Edge of Page, Center of Page, Grid, or Reference Point. For Reference Point, you can either set XY coordinates manually or click the Set Reference Point button, and then click to set a point on the page. Now your objects will align using that point. To space objects evenly, experiment with the Distribute buttons, like Distribute Center Horizontally, or Distribute Space Horizontally. You can choose to distribute objects based on the edges of the page, or based on the bounding box that surrounds them when they're all selected. Lastly, let's take a look at the Live Guides Inspector which allows you to use properties of existing objects to assist you in creating and manipulating other objects. If we enable alignment guides, we can see guides pop up based on different criteria, like object edges, object centers, and object spacing. You can even match dimensions or rotation angles of existing objects on the page. Activating margins will enable guides that are a set distance away from the edges of your objects. And finally, Activating dynamic guides will cause guides to appear at specific angles to points on your objects. If you need to add a custom angle that's not already in the list, just enter the value of the angle that you need and click the plus button. And that's it! Now you're ready to align and position objects with ease in Corel Draw. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you'll find a written copy of this tutorial to follow along with.